Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Iron or Not. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get started on this project. So here we go. Of course, my not to scale plans, just something for reference. Getting everything drawn up here. Finished dimensions of the entire project are 21 by 32. And here I just took the height of the flag and divide by 13. Mark those lines out. Nice even stripes. And there I'm just setting up to mark the union. I'll move the project outside, 45 thousandths cut off disc there in my four and a half inch grinder and clean the edges up with a 120 grit flap disc. And this entire project is made out of 16 gauge sheet metal. So here I just scored all the lines that I had and uh, probably about 30 thousandths deep, so about halfway through. And there's some landscape timbers, and these are what's going to be the back, the backer inside of the frame. And the flag will then be nailed onto that. Uh, rip them in half with the table saw, and then I go around and clean up all the edges with, with the router. And there I am just cleaning up those edges. So I did make two of these panels just like this and then, and then glue the two panels together for the overall length. This is actually the second one, and here in a minute you'll see I throw the first one up there that I glued up and take that apart. And I didn't use any biscuits or dominoes gluing this together. Um, probably wasn't necessary in this situation just because the, the entire back board piece there is going inside of a metal frame so um, we'll see how it holds up you know maybe maybe on the next project I'll do something like that so these here I'm just cutting out strips of that same 16 gauge uh, and there you see obviously bend this into the J trim which will become the frame Pretty hard to see there, but on this one I'm just using a metal scribe. Yeah, my brake, just a 48 inch box and pan brake, really not. <laughs> Dang, I shouldn't be doing 16 gauge in here. Probably maxes out around 20 gauge. Is fairly easy. So at this point, I wasn't entirely certain of, of how I was going to design the frame, what the end result was going to look like. So I just 45 one, one end of each of those. 
and uh you know get the mainframe put together and and then kind of go from there just see what it's turning out to be Yeah, my helmet crapped out on me. Battery went dead, so I had to get my backup helmet out. Yeah, and on the 16 gauge here, I'm just using a uh, 30 thousandths MIG wire. You'll see me using that magnetic ground clamp there. That thing's just handy, projects like this. So that first one I got there on the outer border, you can see if you look, uh, yeah, I got the 45s cut on that one. Make sure everything's lined up and just mark out the 45s for the next one. I, don't, I did that off camera. Got that cut up. And bring the whole thing back in and get ready to weld her up. And there's my paper template. So obviously at this point I've decided to put those corner pieces in. And a mid-project pump up there. See how it's coming along? Yeah, looks pretty good. I guess we'll keep going. So there's that paper template again. Of course we one for each corner, so I knock out four of those. And after I got these cut out, uh, the portion where I'd get into using the jigsaw, my camera died about halfway through. Um, so I do wind up clamping all four of them together just to, to finish grind them out so that they're all the same. And there they are. That's all four of them. Yeah, I just cleaned up that, that backer board. There was some orange spray paint on there, probably from construction at some point. Um, just get that, you know, outside dirt and dust, a little bit of loose bark off of there. And that two by eight inch strap right there, I'm gonna uh, cut some grooves in the back of this piece and then screw that to the back and that's going to give me something to weld some eyelets onto for hanging the picture and also give it some extra support so I don't know 15-20 passes on the old table saw there clean it up with the chisel Pretty quick process.
and just run a little countersink so everything sits nice and flush across the back of that frame. So in the background there, I got a, a buddy over. We're actually building a powder coating oven. Those will be some more videos on the channel. So if you like what you see in there, hit the like, subscribe, bell notification. And you can check those videos as they come out. And after I welded out all four of those webs on the corners there, um, you'll see me clean them up here in a minute. And I left them a little rugged, a little rough. I didn't grind it completely smooth. Uh, but that's the kind of look I was going for on this project. And here's some uh, quarter by 20 carriage bolts, and I uh, decided to put two in each radius on those corner pieces. And I always grind off the, uh, the zinc and then the manufacturer number, uh, just to give them a little bit of the age look. <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend do not do this over a plastic trash can. It did survive, but... So after I heated those up, I did hit them with a little bit of WD-40 uh, just to give them a nice um, uh, blackish blue antique hue. A little bit more clean up here with just a fine scotch bright wheel.
And there's those carriage bolts. Obviously, they're, I, I didn't leave them full length. They are cut off. But, and here's just two uh, washers. And I'm going to weld those on the back of that strip that's on the frame there. That's what I'm going to uh, use to run the wire through to hang the, the piece when it's done. And welding in them four carriage bolts, or excuse me, two per side, eight total. So at this point, looking at it, I decided to add two more carriage bolts on the top and bottom and one on each side, uh, but make the two on the top and bottom functional that will actually go through the wood backer and pull it up tight into that frame. So we're doing the same thing again here, just uh, not over a plastic trash can. <laughs> And here's just a vinegar water solution that I used to rust the flag. So I leave the red rust on, obviously, for the red stripes, and I clean off a little scratch bright, get the white stripes revealed. And for the union there, uh, what I do is I use heat and just dab some WD-40 on uh, to darken it up, and, and then gives it a nice antique blue hue. And here I just cut a piece of paper the size of the union, went to the center, made my circle and, and marked out uh, 13 stars. Take 360 divided by 13 and you get 27.6 some odd degrees. And center punch those holes and basically make a pothole here. Put a little JB weld in and throw the stars at it. Everything stuck perfect. There you go. And here's the first coat just putting on a matte finish. Uh, this is a lacquer. There's the four functioning carriage bolts. That the rest of them are just faux or aesthetic, whatever you want to say. Um, those four on top and bottom will, will pull that frame tight. I have some matte finish nails too that will also be around the entire perimeter of the frame. And those two are, are also functional in holding that frame up in there. Yeah, this is my first attempt at blueing up, uh, kind of getting the antique blue on that frame. Didn't work so well, so we holler outside, put the torch tip back on. I do have a rose, but I could have used, I guess. Um, torch tip was plenty. And, uh, you know, right, right before it's turned into that red 
hot color. It's just almost a little bit purple. And then I hit it with some tin weight hydraulic oil and it looked great. Uh, where there was some really shiny bare metal, um, that's a, left a really nice gold, golden antique hue to it. Uh, pretty hard to see in camera or any of the pictures, but really happy with the way that frame turned out. And here I'm just prepping for those four last four carriage bolts to go through. Countersink for the back there so that the locking nut will be below the surface of the wood. And so here we go with the black matte finish nails that are around the perimeter. You can see how those worked out. Uh, I was pretty happy with the result of these. I thought, eh, it might be overkill, but I uh, wanted to turn it out pretty good. Of course, moving the clamps all the way around, just sucking that frame up tight against the steel on the frame as I went and worked my way around. Just checking for square. Um, use those same matte finish nails. I think got about 10 of them around there. Hold that flag down in place. And then I put that same matte finish lacquer over the entire project to finish it out. So again, thank you folks for tuning in. Uh, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'm trying to put out at least one video a month. Um, I know for certain that I do have a powder coat oven build coming out. That'll be several, several videos probably. But uh, there's the finished product. Thanks for watching.